Uh, hi everybody, RJC Explores, and I'm uh, at uh, RF Kingscliff, and uh, just admiring the view from here. If I can zoom in a little bit, really, really nice. It's a really nice day. I've just <laughs> walked. I'll stand up here. All the way around there where there's some more fighter pens. That's about the third lot of fighter pens that I've come across now. Uh, fortunately, I had to go past one mushroom pillbox. I did speak to the farmer. Uh, he said I can come back later and go in there because he's busy uh, drilling putting fertiliser down at the moment. So I thanked him for that. Uh, and I said, oh, I'm just going to carry on wandering around. Um, so I followed it up here. I come across another building, which is over there as well. I just took photographs of that. Um, not sure, entirely sure what it was used for. But, uh, and then, from over from the fighter pens over there, which is why I was just admiring the view here, because obviously this was put here for a strategic position. I look around here, and uh, I have a mushroom pillbox, which is uh, buried in the hedge line here. I mean, it probably wasn't here back then, but I mean, how neat is that? I clocked it from back there really really pleased i found that so that's the the second one that i know of here now i'm hopefully going to be able to get inside and uh film this one see if we can uh get on top i'll find the entrance <laughs> oh dear is it down here There we go. I could have just walked round, but that would have been too easy, wouldn't it? There we go. I'm just gonna move some stuff here. Well, really pleased. This one's near enough intact by the looks of it. The only thing, brick wise and everything. Oh, like that. Oh, walked about three miles already, <laughs> but no, nah, that's really nice. The only thing I can see missing would have been the rail that went round here. You can just see where it would have been attached to. When there was uh, the old uh, RF War Boys, there's a mushroom pillbox there, and uh, that still has the rail round in it, which the uh, machine gun would have been uh, hooked onto, and the idea being that from wherever the enemy was coming, you obviously have your machine gun, and you can just like follow it round 360 degrees, right round, as you go round firing off. So one minute the enemy's there, and then just quickly slide it back here, and you're looking out over here. I mean, that's really, really nice. It's the uh, open, openness of it. And this pillbox is in really, really good nick, I suppose, because it's well out of the way as well, which is good. All the middle walls all intact, all the brickwork's intact. And so the only other thing that's missing is the rail that goes round. But you can't have everything. <laughs> but uh, I could stay here for quite a while, actually, because it's uh, really cool and in here and out there, it's really hot. But no, nah, it's throwing up loads of surprises. Um, Kingscliff. I mean, there's loads of places which I've, I've gone past where there could have been uh, other buildings in there, or even Stanton shelters and other things. But it's just, uh, I've got some other points I want to get to, and it's going to take me a little while. And every time I keep getting de detoured and distracted, we're going to uh, other bits. So, it's, as usual, when you think you can get everything done in about <laughs> a couple of hours, it's a whole day explore this, and even then, I'll probably have to come back again another time. But yeah, really nice, really nice mushroom pillbox. You can see why they call it the mushroom pillbox, because just the way it looks from the outside, it just looks like, yeah, like a mushroom. <laughs> but, let's have a walk around. Ah, oh, it's pretty neat. Not a why, um, obviously, you know, some RF bases have the ordinary pillboxes, like the Type 22s, uh, 24, uh, 28s, uh, 
And obviously there's the air ministry type pill boxes as well, which come in all different shapes as such, but the idea is the same. And then you get some bases, like I say, they use the mushroom pill box. Uh, don't know why they were used. I mean, this, this blends really nicely in to the, to the background, this. I mean, obviously it's in the hedge here. And like I said, I don't think this hedge probably would have been here, but this would have been well camouflaged. I don't know, we'll go back out. Go through here. And it's quite thick as well. I mean, I'm thinking of like ordinary pillboxes. They're probably a, a two, a couple of feet thick, some of them, shell proof. And you now looking at this, this is, you know, this is quite thick as well. Obviously it hollows out a little bit actually when you, when you look underneath, but uh, yeah. Really nice. Really pleased I come across that. <laughs> so, you know, presuming if this is in the line, you know, I'm on the outskirts of the base, so I'll keep following this round. I'll maybe come across uh, another one. Who knows? Excuse me a minute, I'll just climb up here. <laughs> just looking on here, there is a. I spotted that, there's like a little metal thing there obviously but, and there's no police there what that was for I don't know who knows anyway yeah really nice so there you go looking out just show you on top cool so get back down here now I'll just take a small walk back and there you are. Mushroom pillbox at Kingscliff. Hopefully I'll, so I'll get back to go to the, the other one. I couldn't go and look because the farmer's doing his field. And hopefully get back onto that and uh, just probably take some pictures of that one. And uh, carry on my journey around this uh, former RF US AAF base. Thank you very much, and I uh, hope you enjoy watching. Thanks for uh, all your support, and keep watching the videos, it's much appreciated, and I'll keep doing the explores. So, thank you very much, and stay safe. All right, again, so I've just come out of all this thicket in here, and there's all the uh, bits of old buildings and stuff that looks like they've been demolished. And then, <laughs> I just finished filming one pillbox, uh, mushroom pillbox over there. And uh, I look out here and on the hedge line again, find another pillbox, mushroom pillbox. So let's go and have a explore with that. This will be the, uh, the third one now. So that's three. The other one, sorry about the wind, it's just on that hedge line there. So these aren't that far apart. I'm just gonna keep the phone this way because the wind's just decided it's gonna blow a gale. <laughs> so obviously they're protecting something of importance which is in that thicket there. And the base is so let's go straight up to it. go again number three this one's got the steps that are going down oh look well and this is uh got the rail on as well so now uh when i was explaining in the other video you can uh see what's what now so let's let's get in yeah brilliant there you go and so say uh machine gun more likely would have been on here with a like a bracket that held it onto it. And obviously that would fit onto here. And then like you can say, you can just move around, sliding along this and 360 degrees, covering all eventualities of the enemy coming from any direction. What was that? And like I say, the other one didn't have it. This one has. 
It's really neat. It's really good uh, condition again. Oh, there's a little bit of a right where people have uh, scribbled on the top here. But apart from that, it's uh, really, really clean. Just have a look round. That's just the brick here. Can't see any uh, other writing or anything from the makers or anything. Often on the uh, type 22s and 23s and 24s, sometimes you'll find that in them. People have made them or who are stationed in them. Uh, no, how neat is that? See that the rail still in there going round. We'll have a, a quick walk round. <laughs> Full 360. There you go. Lifted up here a little bit the rail, I don't, don't know. Yeah. It's so cool under these as well. And I'm really, uh, really chuffed that that, that rail was on this one. Look, like I say, that's. Uh, that's number three. Obviously I've got to go back and do the other one. But again, this is a good little position. And like I say, this, the other one's just, it's like just over there. I mean, really if I looked, I could just get some filming for that one onto this one, but I've got to explore everything, every little thicket and every bit there is to explore, I like to go and see. And it's, it's paying off at the moment because like I say, I come across this one as well. And this one's pretty neat because it's got the, uh, the steps that are still, still there. The other ones are a bit covered, but it's got the concrete steps coming down. And, you know, looking around the place, the farmer, or not necessarily the farmer, but someone who's uh, demolished a lot of the old the buildings that are here quite a while back, but they've left these uh, mushroom pillboxes, which is brilliant. Really pleased to see that. So, hats off to who's ever decided to leave these alone. It's a great bit of history. Uh, I could have spent many if, if I was, uh, obviously, during the war, <laughs> all of mine had been stationed in one of these, just looking out. Very peaceful, very quiet. Probably not as peaceful back then because there's planes coming in and out and loads going on and everything like that but yeah still really good let's go out back out of here now oh, I get stuck as you can see there's the uh, there's the steps one two three four steps again it's uh Really, really nicely hidden on this hedge line. Like I say, I don't think the hedge line would have been here. But, uh, it would have been clear, but um, nature takes over. It gives it its own camouflage. Yeah, really neat. Oh, let's come around here. Give you another good view. See, I'm hoping I haven't missed any. I mean, these two are really close. And this is some others down the other hedge line. Uh, what I've missed, I don't know, but we'll keep going around and see what else we can find. Uh, on this explore of Kingscliff. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much, people. Stay safe. After traveling from one mushroom pillbox to two mushroom pillboxes, I just realized why they're so close together and what they're protecting. They were protecting, sorry about the wind, the battle headquarters, which sits in here. <laughs> I believe I didn't see that from that mushroom pillbox to here. So that's what they're protecting. Uh, let's have a look around. Really windy. Uh, it's one of the entrances I don't have. Well, in the car I have wellies, but I don't have no waders. So we'll go down a little bit, see what's what. Yeah. <laughs> Hence why 
I need to invest in a pair of waders. How gutting is that? Um, I've got a torch here. Yeah, that is pretty deep. Even if I bought my wellies, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, I can't even see. <coughs> oh, I can't see. It's crystal clear water. This I can see bits and pieces in there. I know from uh, previous posts that I've seen on various channels. Uh, this was a lot of people said this had one of some of the most preserved stuff they've ever seen in any of the battle headquarters that they've been in. Obviously, that was many years ago, and uh, time's taken its toll, and the water has filled up in there, which is a uh, pretty gutting. I mean, there's stuff in there. I mean. There is another entrance. Well, there's usually another entrance, I should say, around here. Oh, really windy here. Right, so have a look at this side. Right, there's another, probably a better view. these hooks whether that had camo on there which hooked onto that which covered this um, I don't know but, uh, have a peek down here well I can get into uh, the observation bit so we'll have, a, we'll have a climb down let me take this off so we've got this charger here uh, being lent to me from Kev, that is exploring with Kev. He's also lent me the torch. <laughs> but he lends me everything. He's a top, top light, like any channel's really good as well. So if you get a uh, time, have a look at uh, exploring with Kev. We often do collaborations with him. He's not here today because he's already done this when we were. Oh, sorry, when I was part of a abandoned city camo crew so I'm just climbing down this now <coughs> yeah when Kev went with Kieran to to do that but I never went to that one so hence why I'm here today <laughs> right got the torch now oh, to bear with us let's hope his ladder's safe Go. Whew. Torch on. Have a look. I mean, look how deep that is. It's not even. Such a shame. And everything, all oh, the plaster looks as though it's coming off. And what I can see through there, it's all falling off now. Really clear water though. Usually, a bit when I see these, always usually frogs always swimming about. I could just. No. Uh, it'd be really good to pump this out actually and keep it dry. Uh, like I say, all the plaster's all falling off, so I'm presuming most of the wood, I mean, I can see loads of wood in there and stuff which was in there, is all off as well anyway. Have a look in the uh, observation part. Oh, there you go. It's still quite intact. So got the zinc there. So there you go. It's been quite a few of these I've been in now, and uh, if someone's uh, just going to have a fire or had a fire. Okay, they haven't done a lot of damage. And no. Uh, Shame, shame that, that that's uh, all flooded out. I can't get it. it looks quite big actually. I'm presuming most of them all done like a certain size. Uh, I mean, through there, there, there should be what two or three different rooms. Oh, yeah, three, two or three different rooms. I mean, that, yeah, if I had uh, a <laughs> spare, spare trousers and spare boots and everything, I'll probably just wade through it, and I have done in the past, but I haven't got 
anything with me today in the bag. I'm about a couple of miles into the explore and I don't fancy getting absolutely drenched when I've still got so much to do. And you can see that there's loads of stuff all littered around in there. Never mind. At least we've got down a small part of it. The last one, when I was at a location, was blocked in. The farmer blocked it in with wood and everything. I think that was uh, RF Grafton Underwood. Uh, that was a no no, I couldn't get in any of that. So at least I can get in some of this. Just a shame it's flooded out. But there you go. Anyway, let's get back out of here. This their ladders are made to last when they built them years ago. <laughs> it's not brambles, it's trees. <laughs> oh. There you go. Yeah. Shame, but there you are. Well, it's quite nice as well. The other end. Is, uh, you've got like that roof bit which I haven't seen before whether they've all collapsed on the other ones or I don't know those are the barbed wire all down there so I'm just looking at the perimeter I might follow that down because uh, you never know there may be a, another mushroom pillbox or something buried amongst all that lot as soon as the battle headquarters is here you never know uh, just duck down, try and keep out the wind a little bit. But yeah, so uh, quite a few things. Every time I put the, the phone away, <laughs> I stumbled across something else. Oh, I should have kept filming. So it's going to be a lot of editing going on with uh, this video. And that we'll put them all together and everything. But yeah, we're getting somewhere now. I've still got the uh, control tower to get to. Hopefully I'll be able to get to that. And some other, maybe some more fighter pens around there as well with uh, loopholes and the walls and everything so uh we shall see and uh maybe come across some other stuff that i didn't know was here anyway thank you very much uh, thanks for watching and uh stay safe